Have you got Visual Studio 2017, SQL Server Developer, Enterprise or Standard, and want to use SSAS, SSIS or SSRS? Well, first of all, you need to have installed the components for SSAS, SSIS and SSRS in the back engine of SQL Server. See my other videos for how you can do that. If you have, then you need something called SSDT. This is SQL Server Data Tools, and you need the Visual Studio 2017 edition. If you've got Visual Studio 2019, then the process is different. Again, have a look at my other videos for how to do this for Visual Studio 2019 or later. So I click on Download SQL Server Data Tools, and in the right hand side, we have got SSDT for VS 2017 standalone installer. So to download it, just click on this. It's quite a big download, so I'll pause the video until it's downloaded and then we'll install it in Visual Studio 2017. It's not yet installing because I've got to select a Visual Studio instance. Well, there's only one instance that I've got, which is the Visual Studio Community 2017 instance. And here we say what we want installing. Well, in my case, I want SSAS, SSRS and SSIS. So I want all of these. So click install. And once you've done that selection, it's now just a case of letting the computer download and install. No further user inter interaction is required. So I'll pause the video and we'll start again once it's nearing completion. And here you can see the computer has finished. It did actually stop. This is the second time that I've done this. It did actually stop and said it couldn't download a particular file. All I needed to do was close what I was doing and then restart it again. I just opened the program that I'd previously downloaded. So all I need to do now is click restart and installation should be complete. Right, so I can see if it has all been installed. If I go to Visual Studio 2017, so I can scroll down to the Vs, open up Visual Studio and create a new project. And if it's all been installed, I should be able to create an SSAS, SSIS or SSRS project. So I'm not going to sign up, start Visual Studio. This dialog box will only come up the first time that you open Visual Studio. So here we go. So I'll start a new project. And under Business Intelligence, I've got SSAS, SSIS, and SSRS. So it's now all been fully installed. If you like this video, please click on the like and why not click on the subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much and keep learning.